Good day everyone! Today we will be having a discussion about database monitoring and its advantages. I am Aaron Paul Ramos and this video will focus on database monitoring. In general, databases are an integral part of any information system. They are used for storing, querying, and updating critical business data. Naturally, the availability, performance, and security of a database systems are of primary concerns for any database administrator. To facilitate this, system administrators typically make use of various database monitoring tools. But what exactly is database monitoring? Database monitoring is the tracking of database performance and resources in order to create and maintain a high-performing and highly available application infrastructure. To carry out monitoring, the database system collects information from the database manager, its database, and any connected applications. For example, categories for SQL Server, MySQL Server, and Oracle Database Monitoring include Query Details, Session Details, Scheduled Jobs, Replication Details, and Database Performance. In creating a database monitoring design, we should always remember that there is no magic bullet. That is, there is no single model for building a monitoring strategy. That is because, more often than not, businesses use different databases and each one exposes different types of metrics with varying levels of granularity. A critical metric for one platform may not be important for another. Let us consider the following. Relational databases are mostly used in online transaction processing systems. Data warehouse systems host large volumes of low-velocity data. NoSQL databases are often used in mobile or web applications to host metadata or status information. And in-memory databases are used for fast performance. The following outline is a list of items to take into account when implementing a database monitoring system. How should you monitor? 1. Automatically collect key database, server, and virtualization performance metrics. 2. Alert on performance or availability problems for both database and server components and optionally take corrective action. 3. Generate comprehensive reports to show database utilization and capacity issues. And four, correlate database issues with end-user response metrics for accurate assessment of application performance. What constitutes a problem? One, key performance indicators that exceed threshold values. Alarms or alerts generated by the database the inability to access the database, poor database performance and response time, and running out of key resources the database needs to perform properly, like CPU, memory, storage, and input-output capacity. What should you do when a problem is identified? 1. Prioritize and escalate high severity alerts with text messages or email alerts. 2. For recurring problems, build detailed notes into the alert to speed resolution. And lastly, automate with OS commands or scripts to fix the problem if possible. That ends my discussion about database monitoring. The next video, which will be discussed by Sir Algen, will focus on the advantages of database monitoring. Thank you for listening.